Drennan have two types of oli olivettes. They have the inline olivettes and then the pegged on lock and slide olivettes. With the inline olivettes, we've now produced a set of intermediate sizes. Now, when you're making up rigs, you don't want extra shots on the line. You want just the right amount of shot for what that olivette and float take. And the drop shots are very important. And I don't want extra shots built into that rig. So now we've got intermediate sizes. We've got 2.25 right up to 11.5. The problem was, it with like a, say, a 12 gram flat float, if you were putting a 12 gram olivette, it was often not right. It, it had set the float, but you'd no droppers. Of course, when you've got an 11.5 olivette, you've got half a gram of shot that you can use on the line. So it makes it much, much better. That's just for an example. So all the, the sizes of Olivette now in the bigger sizes, we've got intermediates. So it makes it much, much easier for making up rigs. You can select, select the right Olivette virtually all the time for the size of float that you want, right up to, to 12 gram. Now, a little tip for you about using these type of Olivettes. The smaller ones often I'll put on the line with no shots around the olivette at all. So all I do, I take one of the smaller sizes, this is just a 0.8, I'm putting that onto the, the, the main line. I mean, the, obviously when I'm making up a rig, the float's already on the line and everything, but just to show you how I actually lock the actual floats on the line, all I do, I use a a very fine nylon bristle and this this has actually been cut off an airbrush um, and these fit inside the actual rubber tube inside the olivette so you can shove it inside the actual tube and if I just cut that off I just so that now is f fixed on the line it can't move it can't possibly come off they're very good when you're cart fishing, to be honest, because it's impossible to you know, choose whether your, your fish is running through snags or bankside vegetation. It's nearly impossible to lose that olivet because it's in, the line is through the inside of it. Of course, now it's fixed in place. It'll still slide on the line nicely, but doesn't move when you're fishing. So selecting the right size of bristle is quite important. You've got to have the bristle that just fits nice and snug inside. But that's just one way to put the inline olivettes onto the line. The other way that I put olivettes on the line is to use shots. And it shots either side of the olivette. And it's quite a simple task just to put four shots below the olivette and two above. The four below take all the pressure and the movement of the olivette. So the olivette can't move on the line and the two above just keep it in place. So that's two different ways of putting the inline olivettes onto the line. Of course you have the droppers below and then your rig's finished off.